Uh, hey there, Aaron. What's going on here? Oh, man. I was hoping to have this put back together before you got here and before this started. Well, I hate to tell you, but we already did start. And I gotta ask, why'd you try and start frantically putting this thing together right at this moment? Well, yesterday we talked about the perfect world God created for us to enjoy with Him. Right. So, I thought it'd be cool to see the world. So, I got a globe, and when I was going to reach for the globe, I turned around really quickly, and what I thought was a table was the globe, and I knocked it over, and it shattered everywhere, and I broke it. I, I broke the world. Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear that, Aaron, but now that I think of it, it's actually better for today that you broke it and you try to fix it, but you couldn't. Oh, I think you're right. Let's tell them how. Okay, so yesterday we spent time at the very beginning of the world, the perfect world God created from nothing. We saw his power and his love at work in his creation, especially in the people he created to enjoy this perfect world with him. Exactly, but that was just the beginning of this epic saga. Into this beautiful perfection came God's enemy, one not as powerful as God, but who hated everything God loved. And with this enemy entered temptation, temptation for the people God created to doubt their very creator and listen to the voice of his enemy rather than his own to try to be as God themselves, rather than trusting the God who had gifted them perfection, a world that lacked nothing good and a close life-giving connection, a relationship with him. Yeah, and at this crucial moment, the people chose not to trust, love, or obey God. They chose to turn away from him instead. And with this choice, something called sin entered the world and broke that perfection. Because people turned away from God, not only was the perfect world no longer perfect, that special connection people were created to have with God was broken. And there was no way we, any people ever, could mend what was broken. So our second truth, the second part of this story is, then we turned away and broke what only God could mend. The first people aren't the only ones who ever dealt with sin. Every person ever born has sinned, thought, said, or done something that goes against God's perfect plan and design. Right, we're all created to have that special connection with the God who created us, but only God could mend or fix that broken connection. That doesn't seem like the most awesome part of the story, right? It's really kind of sad. It is, but it's not hopeless. Think about the last part of that truth, what only God could mend. That means that God in his power and his love could fix what was broken. And spoil alert, he would. <laughs> yeah, God didn't just write off the people he created. Oh no, we're still just at the beginning of the story. God has a plan to restore what was broken. He- No, no, no. That's the truth for tomorrow. We'll explore more. Don't worry. Yes, you're right. I just got a little excited. I know what's coming and it's really good. It honestly is really good. So we'll see you all here tomorrow and we'll share all of that goodness. <laughs>